Hi guys. Good morning. Thank you for joining. Let us wait few more minutes so that others can join. Hi all. Hi all. Good morning. Welcome to spoken English sessions. Hi ma'am, good morning. Gandhi here. <clears throat> Hello, good Gandhi. Good morning. Very good morning. Thank you for joining. Let us wait a few more minutes so that others can join.
Hi, ma'am. This is Devi. Good morning. Hi all. Hi, good morning. Hi, good morning. Yeah, Hi, I'm going to talk everyone. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So let us have a chart introduction, guys. Okay. Welcome to spoken English classes. Let me introduce myself. Okay. I hope my audio is clear to everyone. Can anyone confirm, please? Yes, ma'am. Clear. Yes, it is clear. Yes, yeah. My name is Maheshwari, and I have total. Five years of experience as an English teacher and also worked as an online trainer for communication and spoken English. Since then, I have been enjoying teaching students. Okay, I did my master's in English literature and bachelor of education. And I would like to run this session, guys, as more as interactive, informative. So please feel free to ask if you have any questions during the session at any point of time. Guys, this is about me. Can you? Introduce yourselves to. Hi, madam. This is Sham Kumar. Yeah, I'm from. Uh, Currently, I'm doing private job in United City. Mm -hmm. so, I joined this session to improve my communication skills in my. Okay, so speak with my colleague and uh, some other okay. time. Surely, surely you are going to do that. Yeah, my main concern is like uh, uh, I'm very confusing about the past tense, present tense, and uh, okay. tense. Sure, sure, so, sure, sure. In upcoming sessions, I'm going to clarify all of your doubts, okay? Yeah, yeah, thank you. Can I speak with Adi today? Hi ma'am, this is Devi. I am housewife. I did complete MSc Max. Actually, I need to um, talk with my kids uh, without any mistake. Okay. 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 Devi. Yeah, ma'am. Okay, Devi. What did you do? What is your qualification, Devi? I am MSc Max, ma'am. Now I am housewife. Okay. Uh, I want to talk with my kids without any mistakes. Okay, that is a great intention, Devi. Yeah. Very good. Yeah, I will. I will help you. Okay, I'm here to help you. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Still, anyone want to introduce themselves? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Who is this? Uh, yeah, this is Bamsi. Yeah, Vamsi. Yeah, Vamsi. Yeah. Hi, um, hi ma'am. This is Vamsi from Hyderabad. 
Yeah. Uh, I completed my post graduation in MCA. Okay. Uh, currently, I'm searching for a job. Okay. That's it. Okay. Hearty welcome, Vamshi, for spoken English yeah. lessons. Hope. Thank you. My classes will definitely help you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Vamshi. Yeah. Let us wait, guys. Let us wait a few more minutes so that others can join. Okay. Please be patient with me. Hello, hi, ma'am. This is Samata. Yeah, from hi, Hyderabad. Sam yeah, Samata. Yeah, I will improve my communication skills, ma'am. I'm a housewife. Okay. You can say even homemaker also, Samata. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm. I improve myself uh, communication most. Okay. Already you are good at communication because you are able to understand what I'm talking, right? Yeah. The only problem is speaking. Yes, ma'am. Not only with you guys, everyone having the same problem. They can understand English well, but the problem is speaking out. Ah, yes, that is the that is one we are going to clear. Okay. That is okay. the one. Everyone, okay. everyone. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Samata. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah. Yeah. Good morning, ma'am. Gandhi this side. Yeah, Gandhi. Yeah. Uh, uh, I do have like uh, five plus years of experience in banking operations. Okay. <clears throat> and uh, right. The reason why I joined here, yeah, I want to improve my vocabulary uh, while writing an uh, emails to the clients or someone. Okay, so I'm lagging okay. in that, so that is the reason I was joined here. Okay, Gandhi. Thank you. I will help you in my future classes. Okay. Any others? Any others want to talk? Any others want to introduce themselves? Yeah, yeah. Radha Rani. Hi, Radha Rani. Radha Rani, I can't hear you. So your audio is not clear for me. Any others, please? Hello, Radha Rani. Your audio is not clear to me. Yeah, hello, ma'am. This is Rohit Malavia. Can you pardon? Hello. Yeah, this is Rohit Malavi. Okay. Yeah, ma'am. This is my first class. Okay. Uh, me and my wife uh, uh, will be uh, will join the class. Uh, okay. She she didn't understand English very well. I so can't I hear you know, I can't hear your voice clearly. Yeah, ma'am. Uh, me and my wife. Okay. Will join together your section. Okay. You and your wife going to join. Okay. Yeah, yeah, ma'am. That is what you are so, going. To. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but my wife English is very weak and uh, she want to speak. Okay. Yeah, ma'am. Uh, so together, uh, together we are going to help her, you and me. Yeah, ma'am. Yeah. First, stick to that. Hello. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Yeah, yeah, ma'am. Yeah. Okay. I'm missing yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, guys, it's already 10 10. Let us join our, uh, let's join, uh, you know, let's start our session, okay? Yes, before starting the sessions, uh, there is a general information, guys. For the course content, you can scan here, and to register, you can scan here. And this is the information from Logic Lab Technologies. 
okay for about the sessions timings and upcoming sessions whatever the details if you want you can uh, call to them and you can talk uh, you can talk with them okay and uh, for any queries contact you know you can even mail support at the rate logic lab uh, stick.com and call even to these numbers okay all the sessions recording and notes will be accessed through lms graphy logic lab support team available uh, monday to saturday in between 9 am to 7 pm Okay, guys, this is the general information and let's go with the content. Yes, talking in English. What is speaking out I'm talking about here? Can anyone? Can, you, can, anyone, can anyone share your views on this? Speak out. What is speak out? Uh, what we are going to deliver to the uh, opposite person uh, okay. in the proper way. Okay. Speaking out. That yes. might be anything. Yes? Yes. If I ask you to speak in your mother tongue, how many of you are willing to talk with me? Native language, that means. Everyone. Everyone. Why? Why is yeah. that? Why so? Why Com is comfortable. Familiar. Familiar. Comfortable. comfortable. Yes, comfortable. And you know every element of your mother tongue, right? You know what is adjective, you know what is a verb. That means action, you know everything. Because you are listening to your mother tongue since from your childhood, right? But what's happening with English? Why we can't speak out confidently in English? Can anyone answer me? Hope my audio is clear to everyone. Yeah. Yeah. Can anyone answer? Because, no, because no one knows how to speak and converse it to any other person. Okay. You are able to understand what I am speaking right now, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Whatever I am speaking, you are able to understand. Already, you are good at English. The only problem is you are not talking. Right? That is what we are going to do now we are going to have a endless talking in english okay in our and, upcoming sessions and problem is that uh, uh, word bank is not available at the time of speaking pardon word bank word bank yeah okay at the time of speaking we are not able to uh, choose the right word how to convey a uh, or message to the other person. May I know who is speaking? Yeah, ma'am. This is Rohit Malviya, ma'am. Okay, Rohit. Okay, you would be searching for the words, right? Yeah, ma'am. Sometimes we are, uh, we are, we, uh, we are finding our words. Okay. How to speak? Okay. Yeah, that is what we are going to do. Okay. If you have, if you are speaking with someone, you know, continuously, if I ask you to talk about coffee, are you able to talk coffee about coffee? Speak few sentences about coffee. Anyone, anyone can. Yeah, ma'am. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Can you give me a coffee? The uh, coffee okay. is very good. Cool. Uh -huh. The very uh, the coffee flavor is very good, and uh, mm. how to prepare the recipe of the coffee, coffee mm. like that. Mm. Yeah, this is what English. If you talk, if you take a subject, if you want to talk about anything, first you have to own that. Don't feel that English is something you know, rocket science or something else. Okay, English is just a language. You know, don't follow fancy speakers by seeing their accent, by talking, you know, some uh, native speakers, they may speak very fast. By seeing them, you will develop some fear in your heart. Am I right? Yes. Yes. Yes, ma'am. If you feel such, so you can't speak properly. You know English very well. You are able to understand what they are talking. You can frame even sentences also, but where are you framing the sentences? In your mind but they are not coming out of your mouth. Is that? Am I right? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes. yes ma why, why, why is this happening is because you don't know much about the language. 
okay language will be having some elements in it you should know the grammar of the language if you know the grammar of the language you can freely speak okay see if you if if i before i asked about coffee yes if i ask you to talk about rocket rocket science will you talk anyone can answer no ma'am because we didn't know about the rocket science yeah you are not aware of the ro uh, science rocket science even i too even i too can't speak about rocket science right because i don't know much about rocket science Be i know very fundamental scenarios of rocket rocket science nothing more than that okay it is difficult okay yeah it is uh, something that scientists do but uh, you know uh, yeah. common people cannot right this is all we are we are going to do in our next sessions okay Okay, got it. Guys, see this. In this workshop, we will consider why speaking English can be difficult. What you can do more become uh, to become more fluent. Why speaking English can be difficult because we don't know much about English language, right? Yes, ma'am. Some things uh, related to English is we can't express ourselves freely in English. If I ask you to express yourself in your mother tongue, you can freely talk, right? Yeah. Whatever I ask for you, you will definitely talk. Endless talking will be having in conversation. If you talk, if you want to talk with your mother or father, if they are talking in your mother tongue in your native language, you can talk without any fear. If I ask you to talk in English, then there will be. so much fear you will be fear of making mistakes because lack of practice and more insufficient practice guys okay you will be not having practice without speaking you can't learn english you know i will teach about grammar noun what is a noun what is a verb what is adjective or what is a conjunction i will all te technical uh, terms i will let you know but the thing is without your support without talking in english you can't learn english if you take native speakers they speak very fast their accent is different hope my audio is clear for everyone yes in between if you have any doubts you can feel free to ask me okay anyone can answer yes ma'am yes who is that uh, this is sham sham remaining yeah. uh, all all of you following or not yes ma'am yes ma'am okay so in this session we are we are going to overcome of our fear of speaking in english guys i will help you surely i need your support too no one is responding why so yes ma'am see just now i said why so so many of you using why because right in your day to day yeah. life while expressing yourself while talking something you will be using why because why because why because right yeah. yeah it is not why because guys you should talk you should say why so why so it happened what is the reason why so such a way okay when speaking only you will come to know all your mistakes okay without speaking no one is ready to rectify your mistakes guys what what i am telling are you able to understand guys so far any confusion no no ma'am no no very good guys you are following me right yes yes, yes ma'am yes let us move to the next slide guys what can make speaking difficult as as i said you before english is not your mother tongue you will be having fear in mind and heart and uh, you can't get words all of a sudden you will be searching for the words you will be searching for the new vocabulary and you will be fear of your mistakes what i am going to talk maybe the other person may take me wrong if i speak maybe they shame on me okay like that yes or not Yes, yes. So, as I said you before, English is all about talking. 
Yes, guys. Talking is nothing but having conversation with people around you. Okay. If you have your brother, means I mean uh, that might be you know mother, father, whoever can speak, can understand English in office. Okay. Don't you know you uh, try to talk in your mother tongue. Okay. Try to talk in English. First of all, a good listener can become a good speaker. Am I clear to everyone? So far, no one is responding. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes ma'am. What is what is the pick is telling about you? A conversation is only fifty percent you. The other is fifty percent, right? What is the meaning of this? Can anyone guess? I said you before. A good listener can become a good speaker, right? If you are talking with someone, you should not interrupt them in between. Understand, guys? Yes. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. If the other person is speaking well in English, don't interrupt him in between. Okay, by asking doubts or by asking questions or you know by diverting the topic, uh, such things you don't do. Just listen to him. Okay. For example, if you are watching a show in Netflix, okay, that might be. anything that might be anything okay just listen to the show for example if you are listening to listening to a song english song okay first the the very first attempt you can't understand the language right you can't understand the words you can't understand the meaning but what you should do listen what can you improve by listening what can you improve by listening guys understanding of language understanding the language and what kind of vocabulary he is using you will come to know and how he is pronouncing the word listen guys that this is not pronunciation pronunciation understand not pronunciation it is pronunciation okay you will understand the pronunciation you will, you will listen to his accent yes still yes guys yes sir yes, yes. okay the first thing you should develop when you want to speak in english confidently the first main thing you have to do is listening that might be anything a movie a show or anything a conversation with your people a conversation with your manager first you should listen what he is going to talk later the 50% the other is 50% means we are going to know in the next slide if you don't understand what someone is saying it is difficult to reply am i correct guys yes ma'am if you interrupt him in between when he is talking you cannot understand the topic what he is going to talk with you yes if you interrupt sir i didn't understand that i yes yeah, sir can you explain me again so the person the other person may get confusion yes decoding individual words and main messages guys you know nowadays people are not using general vocabulary they are updated yes any how many of you will agree yes or not i do i do ma'am yes updating they are not using general words they are using different words different vocabulary new vocabulary because most of your clients from uh, you know onshore okay their accent is different their uses of language is different their vocabulary is different you might be having confusion to understand initially but guys by uh, after listening him every day you might even catch the accent of the person right hope my audio is clear to everyone yes 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 yes, yes. you can even understand his flow you can you can follow the flow of him yes how this is all happening guys how can you understand the flow of language we'll be having a regular practice we'll be having a regular listening sessions understand guys 
yes ma'am and speed of the other speaker also comes under the same don't fear of seeing something speaking so fast they might be you know everyone every beginner will face the same issue they can't speak properly at the very beginning okay but don't stop there don't stop there try to speak try to express yourself by using you know don't go with uh, you know fancy vocabulary uh, like you know by uh, seeing fancy speaker you don't inspire okay just day to day english just first of all what you want to do you want to convey what you are going to talk with others right convey the meaning directly but don't think to use different words or different you know vocabulary so that you can impress that other person we are not here to impress anyone right we are just to talk we, we just to want to talk in english with an easy flow yes guys and accents also same practice listening every day 10 to 15 minutes so here we are discussing about what are the problems that we are facing when you are speaking in english okay first first thing what i said you guys listening listening is the very much important element when you want to speak in english you know lsr w skills guys anyone can respond no l s r w no ma'am no l means guys listening okay s yes means speaking r means reading and last final one is writing okay if you can listen you can speak if you can speak about one topic 10 to 15 minutes you can even read yes guys yes if you can read if you can understand what you are going through you can easily write also yes yes so for learning there is a process guys you can't uh, write first and you can't read first first of all what you should do even our kids also do the same thing first they listen to their parents then they try to speak then they try to read then they try to write okay the writing element is the last one when you become the expert then you can easily write your views your thoughts on something or some other topic when you are having a conversation with friends you can happily talk without having any fear in mind hope my audio is clear yes 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 ma'am now we discussed many things yes are you familiar with these things did you feel the same before anyone anyone can respond guys your response is most important for me learn phrases for when you don't understand here you can see the phrase children what What is this? X Q Q Q Q U M E. No ma'am. What is this? X Q M E. Can you read? Does it have any meaning? No ma'am. Excuse me. Excuse me. Okay. Very good. Very good. So such words. What what you will do? You will think of it. Okay. Something meaning is there. So try try to understand. Okay, guys. Next. Okay. If you want to ask some other, if they are talking with you, if they are ask, if you uh, so that you don't understand what they are talking, okay, you have a doubt. How you are going to interrupt that person? How you are going to ask your doubt? Anyone can respond by asking question. Yeah, may I ask you? Okay. Excuse me. Will you use this also? Are you using even this also? Excuse me, sir. I don't understand what you are talking about. I'm sorry. I didn't understand that. Could when you use could, guys. When you use could, when you are addressing a person with mere respect. Okay. You know you can't uh, uh, use. Can I? with your superior or with your manager or with your any official formal meetings okay you should use could because it shows you know it uh, mere respect that you are giving to your other person okay could you say that again please could you slow down a bit please do you mean if i understand correctly could you rephrase that please these are the 
main things when you want to ask a doubt in a very polite manner these phrases can be useful okay such phrases we are going to learn in our upcoming classes okay you are going to learn about the grammar you are going to learn the important elements of english which you which we which helps you in your day to day life to speak english efficiently i can say but with your support when when i can get support i am not getting any support here no one is talking yes okay now uh, can you see this what i mean is uh, the thing is sort of does something when you do i kind i mean mm, what, did you aware of uh, did you use this kind of uh, you know fillers before what i mean is stuck in there right yeah stuck in there what is that a uh, that thing is mm ma no, i can't speak mm, i don't know a uh, those are fillers okay fillers so yes when we use these fillers guys when we are not confident guys when we are not confident about what we are talking we use this filler test even these are so helps you in your day to day life when you are having conversation with others in english okay guys yes so what can we do step 2 so till, till now we have you know how to ask a request with the superiors and how the fillers are helpful for you you have come to know now what is step 2 learn new vocabulary and revise regularly so new vocabulary in the sense uh, every day two words ah uh, every day two words if i ask you you and your brother resemble same do you understand it first yes what is the meaning of resemble ah uh, similar words yeah. Uh, resemble yeah. mirror yeah. resemble is nothing but mirror no no similar Similar. Yeah, same. I can say look alike. Okay, look alike. When uh, when two persons will be look alike, resemble each other when they are siblings. Yes, yes, guys. Yes, learning vocabulary is not going to help you in speaking English. Only learning vocabulary. You know, you will see, you will uh, you know come across one new vocabulary word. You will search for uh, the meaning in your dictionary or in phone, and you will come to know the meaning of that. but the problem is you will know the meaning but you are not going to use it in your day to day life that is the problem everyone is doing nowadays they will know the meaning they will search for the meaning they will know the meaning and they don't use it in their day to day life how many of doing this mistake how many of you yes ma i do yeah speaking is important using the word in any other situation is important am i correct guys Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes ma'am. Use a filler. Filler. What is the meaning of filler? Filling means, guys. What is filling? You know, you are aware of this word, everyone, right? Filler. What is a filler? If if you have a if you have. You have Yeah. I'm not talking about only English. Filling is, uh, you know, general common thing is wherever you have a gap, there you will fill something, right? Okay, gaps. When we make gaps in speaking, when we make gaps in speaking, when we are not aware of what we are speaking, when we may think that uh, you are doing mistake. Yes, guys. Such times use fillers. Ah, uh, mm, so that. okay so so what i am going to tell you guys i mean like that these kind of fillers will be helpful but don't stuck okay don't stuck rephrase use words do you know you do know okay as i said you before don't have a confusion with new vocabulary don't try to imitate others or copy others guys you have your own way of talking you have your own way of using words okay use regular words also but the problem is don't try to imitate others i am telling you again and again don't try to imitate others guys okay and 
and activate your existing vocabulary. As I said you before, you will come across a new word and you will be searching for the meaning and the meaning will be there in your mind. But that is not going to be easy in your day-to-day -day life. Then learning the meaning is waste. Next, to come out from the fear of talking English, running commentary in your head. Running commentary means, guys, what is running commentary? I think the cricket lovers tell me more about this. No, someone, someone's audio, someone's audio is too much disturbance. You know, better please unmute yourself. Mute yourself. Those who wanted to talk only, unmute. Guys, are you there? Are you following yes, me? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Yeah. Running commentary in your head. What is a running commentary? Some, uh, something will run in my mind before oh. before I before I want to speak. Mm -hmm. What is what is about cricket commentary? running commentary? Cricket running commentary means, guys. I don't know much about. What I see mm -hmm. uh, in a live session. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine cricket, uh, you know, uh, cricket without running commentary? Can you watch it without running commentary? No, ma'am. No. How no. it will be? How it will be? It's, a... it's, a too, bo it's too boring. No, yeah. yeah, it's too boring. That is the power of speaking. Yes? yes. That fellow will be speaking continuously on something about a player or the way he is using the ball or the way he is using the bat and about the ground, about the environment and about everything, about people who came to see. And he will be always keeping you active. Yeah. Yes, by playing, yeah. joke, by making jokes. Yes, guys? Yes. Running commentary is not only oh, wow. about cricket. Okay, it is about everything. Speaking always entertain others. If you keep quiet by talking anything with others, you will be boring. Yes or not? Will you agree? Yes. 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 Yeah, I mean. yeah. It will be boring. Speak whatever you know. Whatever you know. Don't feel that other person may take it, you know, may think that you don't know English. This fellow don't know English. So, so come out of such fears. Let the other person think whatever. But you should clear with you. Okay? You should try speaking in English. Radha Rani, before she said she wants to speak with the children in English. Yes? And how... Now, today onwards, she is going to speak with children, okay? Though she is speaking wrong, her children are going to correct her. Yes, if you speak something only, the other person come to know what, uh, what are you speaking and some good people may correct you also. That will never erase from your brain. If someone corrects you, you can't forget that and you will never do the mistake again. How many of you guys agree with this? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes. First of all, speaking out is very much important uh, in spoken English, guys. If you keep quiet, I, I'm not going to help you. If you speak only, I can correct you. Uh, before uh, beginning the class, uh, uh, one of the person said she is housewife. I immediately corrected her. No, don't use that housewife. You can use housemaker. That is the updated version of housewife. Guys, yes. It is also a job. Housemaking is also a job. Yes. We are giving, uh, you know, a better, better uh, terminology for that word. Okay. Guys, these will help you. Word games, mind maps, puzzles, crosswords will help you in understanding the language, in speaking your, la uh, speaking your language free. Okay, guys. Okay. Grammar. What is grammar? Can anyone say what is grammar? A general question. It is a thing. Uh, how to connect a word? How to connect a word? Okay. While talking to someone, uh, it is a standard version. We have to speak uh, by mm. using the grammar. Mm, okay. By learning grammar, uh, by learning grammar, are you going to speak well in English? No, ma'am. No. No. Not. Not perfectly. Mm -hmm. not but perfect. uh, but uh, they know how to. Uh, how to convey in a, in a right mm. How you many of you having a habit of framing a sentence in mind in your mother language, mother tongue? How many of you having the I habit? Do, I do, ma'am. 
before that i have to i i, I think that but correctly uh, i am not uh, uh, mm. not guys listen yeah. to me you are doing good you are able to understand every of my sentence already you are good at english the only thing is you are not speaking out that i have understand you to understand that grammar is not going to help you completely guys okay grammar e will let you know what are you talking okay whether you are talking correctly or not in english it will let you know okay the elements but grammar itself is only not going to help you okay you yourself should help you understand see in english the, in english grammar there are so many elements a noun pronoun verb adjective active voice passive voice direct speech indirect speech question tags are you aware of all these did you i think everyone uh, aware of this when they are schooling yes yes guys in their school in their schooling everyone uh, you are aware of it but, but why are you not speaking but why are you not speaking you know about little grammar right yeah everyone knows the yes. little grammar yes. but uh, the problem is that at that, that time they are not speaking yeah because we have no such environment from our childhood mother tongue influence is more on us how many of you agree yes ma'am mother tongue influence everywhere wherever we go mother tongue follows us right only the problem is we have no native speakers you know we are not having good uh, persons around us who can speak english better if you find such guys if you if you are aware of them better please have some conversations with them though it is your kid your kids might be everyone studying in uh, english medium schools right right am i right yes 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 ma'am yes. take their books go through them you will come to know lot of things you know reading reading also mm. can be helpful in improving your language you know i'm i'm not going to tell you that read serious articles fancy articles Do, no don't do that just read stories yes guys read stories stories when you are reading stories you will develop some interest okay towards reading if you read that you can definitely speak okay initially you try to read stories in english okay later you read some articles simple articles about movies or about your favorite uh, you know actors about uh, you know some you know fashion things or anything anything that might be anything dressing up everything okay reading really helps you in speaking english well you will come to know so many things when you are reading yes and coming to next one is writing guys what is writing when you can write confidently guys first know the things after that correct yeah if you know the things correctly then you can write when it can happen when you can listen you can speak when you can read yes if you can read you know what is the base uh, uh, important thing uh, you know what is the advantage of writing you know you will think yes if i ask you suddenly write about a mobile phone you will think and write or you will write fast you will think and write yeah you will think first of all what what is a bad habit you have is you will frame sentences in your mother tongue in okay. mind right yes mother mother tongue yes. uh, is not going to help you guys you should whatever you want to write you have to frame in english okay and do not worry about mistakes we all make them even initially i too did so many mistakes guys trust me and uh, i was not shame of my mistakes i used to learn from others how to speak how to rectify my mistakes and how to overcome my fear of talking in english every hello yes ma'am are you there guys yes yes ma'am yes ma'am yes, ma yes, ma yes, ma yes, ma yes, ma yes ma 
what i said you don't feel shame on your mistakes okay we all do the mistakes we should own our mistakes first you should accept your mistake what you did and later you can learn okay without mistakes without talking mistakes we are not going to expert in english okay we can't expertize it we should do the mistakes let us rectify the mistakes and let us rock english okay okay ma'am okay reading is the key of learning as i said you before reading only helps you listening reading as i said you before listening reading you know li listening speaking reading and writing is the last element if you if you have if you are having a habit of reading definitely you are going to write in english also you are going to speak in english also okay choose something you like as i said you before uh, don't go with serious topics guys you know read whatever you like whichever you like whichever makes you comfortable whichever makes you entertain okay go with that okay now as i said you before difficulty in pronunciation difficulty in pronunciation you will come to know once you are aware of the words pronunciation each word will be having a native speaker pronunciation is different even others pronunciation is different guys don't think about much of pronunciation okay you will slowly learn the pronunciation also okay and do you are listening again i am telling you do you are listening always listen 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 try to active in listening don't interrupt them in between a good listener will become definitely a good speaker okay. yeah practice your pronunciation 10 to 15 minutes whatever it is whatever it is pronunciation you know you don't know some uh, uh, one word how to pronunciate it okay you are going to learn even about syllables where you have to make stress where you should not make stress okay these all you are going to learn in our upcoming classes okay in the very okay. initial class the very initial classes is what i am telling you all is how to overcome the fear of speaking in english okay guys i am going to help you throughout my sessions okay fluency fluency will not come at the very beginning guys it is a practice okay practice makes everyone perfect confidence the only thing that i am going to talk today is more confidence more of you won't feel confident to speak with someone you will be having so much fear in heart yes confidence is also one of the key point to come out from the fear when you feel confident when you are aware of the subject more yes when you know about more if you know about more grammar in english in our upcoming classes you will definitely become confident i can assure that i can definitely assure that with your mere support okay everyone should try on their own what i am going to teach you especially about grammar in our upcoming sessions you will learn all the important elements of uh, english if you know you can happily talk in english now step 5 speak practice makes perfect set up a discussion group if you have any partner for example there is a pair there is a uh, beautiful couple in our uh, uh, session now right are you having conversation day to day conversations in english on any topic find a partner to have a conversation uh, if you have no if you have no any partner try to talk yourself in in front of the mirror guys don't feel that you have no partner okay you try to practice speaking in front of mirror yes whatever the topic is for example if you want to talk about tamanna you can talk yes <laughs> what is your feeling about her uh, uh, what you like most the most such things okay and what is this blah 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 non stop talking guys non stop talking means choose a topic and speak out it for as long as you can as i said you before i earlier gave you the topic can you anyone talk on coffee yes the the sweet smell is so delicious i can say and coming to coffee i should not say smell what i should say can anyone taste ma'am aroma is good coffee yeah. is good yeah yeah aroma aroma you should not say the coffee smell is nice the aroma of coffee is so tempting yes once if we are we if we get the aroma of coffee immediately we feel like to have our coffee right 
yes yes your partner will uh, time how long you speak you know how conversation with your partner you know divide the time just listen to your partner and later what whatever your thoughts and views later you can easily share with your partner this will be so helpful if you are uh, if you are having roommates at your room uh, don't try to uh, 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 don't try to have conversations in your mother tongue try to speak in english this is the only way you can learn english speaking is the only way to learn english speak english okay silence do not count use a filler as i said you um, blah um, i see i mean okay so such words are fillers okay they will help you without stuck in you if you stuck on some point just use a filler and continue a topic okay continue talking this this is going to help you a lot okay guys <clears throat> so to become more fluent you need to the points related see we should do plenty of listening we should do we should use fillers to give you a time to think activate your vocabulary what so far the vocabulary whatever you are aware of the vocabulary you should use it in your day to day life don't simply don't see the meaning and just reading the meaning and keeping aside is not going to help you at all okay use it okay read as much as you can practice your pronunciation and read aloud as i said you before speaking in front of the mirror will help you a lot you will know about yourself where are you where you are stucking what is your mistake you will come to know some might be having a fear of talking with others to overcome that better you speak in front of the mirror i myself practiced that okay everyone who ever having a strong intention to talk in english will definitely do that even experts also do that will you all, are you all going to do that will you do that yes ma'am yes ma yes so final thing that i want to tell you is before going to the serious sessions as it is an initial class i want to tell you guys speak out okay by speaking we will learn everything you know without speaking by learning simply what is noun what is pronoun what is verb you are not going to speak in english okay the only way to talking in english is speaking out taking out your fear okay okay so uh my class is uh, any doubts guys so far um oh, recording sessions are uh, provided yes yes okay uh ma'am is there any other uh, i mean like this is spoken english is any other advanced spoken english after this session i mean yeah you know uh, uh, actually i have uh, you know i have given some general information guys before the very beginning of the class you know whatever whatever the doubts you have or any other course related uh, doubts if you have you can call to this okay these numbers are mail to them they will be they are going to help you okay uh, now yes. okay this uh ma'am like my question is like say mm -hmm. now we are we are in spoken english after yes. i mean after completion of this four weeks of classes mm -hmm. so is there any advanced classes of unspoken english so far we haven't planned anything uh... no is is like it is there in spoken english like advanced classes only this particular 30 i mean classes is enough for spoken english these are enough okay after that there is no advanced level right no advanced level okay fine. we are not planning yet okay okay advanced level is nothing but practicing okay writing you know, you know learning more vocabulary apart from grammar okay yeah yeah that is my question like some for some courses like uh, some technology like yeah. there will be advanced level right like that year also in spoken like level 1 level 2 level 3 like that it will be there oh. no right okay um we will think of it and we will let you know okay okay and uh, guys i want to uh, let you know the content what we are going to learn in our upcoming classes okay so this is the content you can see introduction manners manners is about how to behave in, when you are in an english environment okay how to seek permission how to talk all these you will come to know and you will know about consonants and vowels 
and you will know about sentences basic of basics of english okay parts of speech kinds of adjectives verbs and you will know about interjections articles prepositions determiners and tenses mainly tenses we will focus more on tenses guys okay and um, you will be having conversations also written conversations will be hand over to you okay let us have a discussion on conversations and later we will hand over even the soft copies okay and okay. Uh, any doubts so far guys no ma'am uh, did i clear any of your confusion today on english yeah. what you have to do to become a good speaker Okay. First, we have to listen. Yeah. Then we have to practice. 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 Yes. Don't talk. Okay. Yes, guys. Do all the things. Whatever I said to to you today. Okay. I hope the classes will really help you in learning day to day English and speaking without any fear. And uh, I'm so happy that you all have joined in my class. Okay, and hope you will join even tomorrow also. Let us uh, go with the serious discussion from tomorrow onwards. Okay. 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 Thank you for joining, guys. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know. 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 I don't know.